So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to thread or weave a pre-made fan. This is going to be your key to getting the best retention out of pre-mades. I do see it on forums a lot, a lot of people are struggling with retention with pre-made, so this is how you go about doing it. The products that I'm going to be using today are my own brand Eyelash Excellence Pre-Mades, as you'll see, uh, nice symmetry in the fans, beautiful pointy bases, attached really lovely. I'm working with the Orion Volume Tweezer, but I also use this for classic, sometimes with volume, and I also use it with YY lashes and pre-mades because it has a really nice grab area on it, so it grabs the fans really nicely. I'm using Eyelash Excellence Ultra Fast Adhesive. I really love this adhesive. As you can see, it's so thin, it's so clean, it attaches so well, even working on a mannequin head with the practice lashes onto a pre-made, you just see that it's just lovely. So that's pretty much it. Let's crack on to the video where you will see me weaving or threading a fan. So I've got no glue on this pre-made fan just so that we can play with the technique first of all and this is how I recommend that you train this. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be threading the natural lash through the fan. Now this is going to be if you're coming on top of the natural lash because sometimes we can't always apply to the bottom, we can't always apply to the top, we can't always apply to the side. So this is for on top of the natural lash. So we're going to be pushing this natural lash through the base of the pre-made fan. So can you see, so we're threading it through the base where it splits open and then sliding down to get our attachment. So I'll do that again. So look at the tip of this natural lash. We want it to be going through this section of the fan here. So get your angle, thread it through the fan and then slide down to where you want to place the fan. I'll do that one more time. So it might help first of all if you're not quite understanding how you're threading through. Turn your fan at this angle just to practice and practice threading that natural lash through the fan. Once you've figured that out then you can turn to the correct angle and then thread it through and place and sometimes what it can help to do is that you might be coming in at the wrong angle first of all so your fan might be lifted too much upwards then when you go to place you just need to rotate your hand over so I'll do this exaggerated so you'd thread through and then at the last minute you turn the fan over to place the base down like so but it does help if you can get the angle from the get-go so the correct angle thread it through and then if need be, you can just turn the fan slightly to attach the base on. So that's from on top of the natural lash. Now, if we want to go underneath, we're going to have our fan at slightly more of an upright angle. So whereas before on top, we were a little bit laying backwards like this. From underneath, we're going to have the fan more upright. So we're going to come in like this, thread the tip of the natural lash through the base of the fan and slide down. We'll do that again. Thread the tip of the natural lash through the base of the fan and then slide down. So by doing that technique as well where you're sliding down you're going to actually disperse the adhesive nicely so you're going to get great retention. So now we've got ourselves some adhesive. I'm going to do it from the top of the natural lash, thread it through, turn it over if need be, hold, 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 and release, and just adjust to where we need be. Look how nice and clean that placement now is. You know, you wouldn't know that's a pre-made fan. So nice amount of adhesive on that fan. We're gonna come under the natural lash, thread the natural lash through, slide down, hold, 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 slowly release, and if need be, we're just gonna adjust that fan to where we want it. And again, nice clean attachment. You shouldn't be able to see that that's a pre-made fan. You shouldn't be able to see that there is adhesive on there. It should just be nice and clean. So if you are struggling with this, I do recommend that you practice this to perfection first of all on a mannequin head. This is how I did it. And then move on to a client. You'll probably find it a lot easier on a client. It's quite hard on a mannequin head because the lashes are plasticky. Hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, please give us a little like. It just helps us know that what we're doing is great videos that you're enjoying. Leave us a comment. Let us know how you're getting on. 
don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you haven't already done so and also turn on the toggle for notifications so that you are always up to date with our latest videos and don't forget to visit the eyelash excellence shop where you can check out uh, all the products that you see being used in my videos they are fantastic products i know that i sound biased but many many months years testing these products testing a lot of crap and only stocking high quality products that do work because i'm never going to sell anything that doesn't work so you can come to us knowing that actually what you're buying is good quality and it is going to help you produce lovely sets of lashes